Hi hey guys, welcome to Nine Links. This is your host Alex, and right now on this video, we're gonna do a uh, pruning on a jasmine made of New Orleans. Now, this jasmine been blooming like crazy nonstop, and just dropped most of its flowers a couple days ago. Still have some flowers left on there. Oh, my patty! I'm sorry, my patio is hot. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this uh, plant requires full sunlight. I love sunlight and water, so make sure you have plenty of water and plenty of sunlight. Okay, I just want to show you some flowers and um, then we're going to start pruning and uh, I'll go about on how to prune this flower, this plant. The fragrance is very lovely, a very, uh, what should I say, calm, calm and lovely. And also you can make tea from these flowers too. So as you can see, the over general shape, uh, there's, I don't have a preference on what kind of shape it goes. I, all I want to do is make it bushier so it's not very um, poking out off in all direction. As you can see right now, it's very bushy. I've been pruning it once in a, uh, every chance I got, just you know, when I come out and get flowers, if there's new growth. But this time I have been, haven't pruned it for about a week or two. So I'm just gonna show you how to prune this. But before we start, I will show you that um, I'm actually a little late on pruning this one. As you can see, the uh, these new buds are fl uh, forming and it's already on a second. Well, actually, I, on, for this one, it's like third or fourth bloom already. So anyway, uh, as you can see right there, um, let me focus in right now. See, these new flower buds are forming already. So today's when we're going to prune it. We're gonna to try to avo avoid pruning the flower buds, which, like I say, there's no preference on shape that I want this plant to be in. So we're just gonna do, um, what should I say, um, random pruning. Just go around. Uh, see, the, the main thing we want to cut off today is the these guys right here. Let me see if I can zoom in real quick. These guys, these guys are right there. These are the ones that flower already bloomed, flower already fell off and just empty right there. We can cut it off, tidy up the plant. And also we'll, you'll see some of these uh, branches turning. Let's see if I can go this way and see these branches. Uh, let me see. see, these branches are turning, uh, turning brown, uh, dead. They're just normal uh, for this kind of jasmine. So we're gonna cut them off too, all right. And there you go. I'll put it on the stand and we'll start pruning. All right, get your pruner. Always for this one, since it's small, it's uh, you can get a chair and sit next to it and enjoy a cup of tea while doing pruning or whatever you want to do like this. For example, it's sticking out. You see the uh, top part is brown. It's, I don't know if you can see this. Let me double check. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, you just cut them off and like these guys, for example, the flower already gone, we'll just cut them off. And since I, like I say, I'm late to pruning already. We gonna just, let me see if I can zoom in on this one. So you know how I cut this. Okay. So for example, for example, you see this two leaves on the side and this branch going up, growing out. Oh, there's a leaf hopper here. Anyway, um, you can prune right, right up here, right up here, or I typically prune down here. So all the nutrient to energy you're going to put into growing these two new, new leaves will be delivered downwards to, um, to other areas instead of new growth. So, and also you can see the top, the flower already fell off. So you don't need these and throw away and just, just cut. And now be careful. These guys are the ones that have a new flower coming out. Don't confuse them with the one I just cut off earlier with these. This is an empty shell. You can see there's nothing inside, but this, these guys, when you look closer, there are little flower buds in there. Okay. And just basically just going around and just tidy it up a little bit. 
some of the flowers is already already gone i already made a few necklaces out of these flowers and some of them i already made into tea already so that's pretty nice for this plant i usually expect about four or five blooms and continuously um, there i think there's no stop they just keep on blooming that is if you treat it right the uh, easiest way for this plant to uh, to bloom non-stop is use well-balanced fertilizer i don't recommend bloom a uh, bloom booster for this plant reason being is this plant in order for it to bloom well it needs to have a good growth of leaf and good growth of flower so it's some plants you know some plants when you have a bloom booster used in there the leaves stop growing and what it does is keep growing flower it looks really odd you uh, have a plant that's a lot of flowers not many leaves leaves just basically stop growing for this one i like the leaf to be lushful green like this and it still produce flowers so it's really bushy and you have get a lot of flowers uh, on the uh on the whole plant so it's like uh what should i say very rich and very healthy plant and some plants like for example cendrium nocturnum night blooming jasmine its leaf growing pretty quick once the leaf grows to a certain level it slows down a bit and when you use a bloom booster on that kind of plants it will put out a lot of flowers because it already has leaves so you can, you have more flowers it's it doesn't really look odd it's more balanced for this jasmine jasmine uh made of new oiling or i think there's another see cut these off or made of uh or grand duke it's the same concept you want to feed it well balanced fertilizer and the main thing is a lot of sunlight a lot of water it's one of those plants that you can't overwater if you have a good, good enough sunlight all right and that's just a brief um show you how to prune this uh jasmine if you have any question leave it down below like always and thank you for watching